A lot lower than what I came in here. I'm sorry, for. man. I, I can't. 25 bucks for this? Yeah. This is a. I might want to look that one up. It's, it goes really? for more than that, yeah. You and me, we're going to go through this together without knowing what we have here. So, hey guys, Pete over here. So, I'm standing right next to the big display case now. This is the case that we decided to put all this uh, Red Cross stuff that we showed off a couple videos ago and I think it presents itself really really good so if any of you guys are stopping by to visit this is on display now here it's gonna be here at least for a month maybe even two depends unless we get a quick bite and somebody might you know uh, buy this from us but it is here for now if you want to stop by and take a look at it beautiful uh, display I mean, it's nice, but it's not like it's one of a kind. They're out there, you know? So, just not that stuff. Because you also know that stuff like this Every Joe that walks in here is not gonna buy, you know. Yes. A true like collector mm -hmm. who is into this stuff, who loves bulls, you know, they are the ones who are willing to possibly maybe you know dish out a couple thousand bucks. I mean, like three thousand bucks. And I'm not I'm, like your price originally when you said three grand. I think it's a good price, but I think it's like the market level price for this. You know what I mean? And I gotta make some money, so. I said, listen, I said 1500 If it helps you, I'll throw another 100 bucks at you. But that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to go any higher. I'm just being honest. I don't, you might come back here half a year from now, I might still be hanging here. And if I do end up going online like on eBay, 20%. Just like that to them, you know? So. Do 18. <laughs> There's a couple hundred up. A lot lower than what I came in here. I'm sorry, man. I, I can't. I can. I, I shouldn't be even going higher that I offered you the 1500 Yes, it is nice. Yes, it is Jeff Hamilton. It is original. No tears, no rips, but I got to make money on it. Simple as that. So I'm going to be at 16 I'll take it. I'll take 16 Want to do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't need your ID. I'll write you up. All right. I wonder actually what a year this jacket actually came out. I mean, 98? Okay. How do you know that? Is there any tech? Oh, because of this? Yeah. Okay. You know, that makes sense, right? It can't be earlier. It has to be either that or just after it, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen hundred. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Appreciate Thanks you, a lot, man. Thank you. Yeah. Jeff Hamilton. So he came in here a little bit earlier today, originally asking five thousand dollars for this jacket. And I can't even come close to that. I think the offer that I gave him originally 1500 was really good. I bumped it up another 100 this time. But in today's market, in reality, um, this is the patch on it. In reality, maybe, maybe $2,500. I'll be very lucky if I get three grand because originally he came in, he said five, and then he said 3,000. He was kind of stuck on it. And I said, listen, 1500 bucks is the best I can do. And uh, a few hours later, he's back. So nice, uh, nice pickup. Chicago Bulls.
this baby. It's gonna power on in a second. This thing is amazing, still fully functional. I love the swivel, love the design. I wish they keep making stuff like this. I mean, look at this, this is so fun. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the original keyboard and I don't have the original mouse, but look at this, firing right up. Guys, sorry, it was a very important phone call that I actually had to answer because it's it's a pick that I'm going on next as soon as we, hello, as soon as we start uh, shooting this video today. But uh, look at this, this says right here, your computer clock is set to the date before March 24, 2001. So this is actually vintage now, right? Over 20 years old, this is 2022, uh, 2002 model. Uh, pretty, pretty cool, still fully functional. But unfortunately, I tried connecting our directly our internet to it and it tells me that it doesn't recognize the modem and you need to enter your phone number like for a dial-up so but it's still fully functional i just wanted to show off how cool these iMacs were back in the day and this still can bring some good money if they're in good working order like this and you do have original mouse and an original keyboard they'll go for a couple hundred bucks so really really cool uh Serica piece here so, original Soldier Field? No, this was when it was redone, I think, yeah, I right? I don't know, to be honest with you. Because I got it looking at that. this. I hated Soldier Field. I went there once Jay, and... Uh, help you. Home it's of the Chicago Bay Soldier <laughs> Field, blah, blah, blah. Broke ground, 1922, open October 1924. So yeah, that might be actually the original look of it. Okay. Rebuilt it, what, and it was late 90s, I think that they yeah, redid yeah, it or yeah, something, yeah. or early 90s. Built it up. Yeah, maybe. built it up, yeah. And now they might be moving again, right? right. They might be going to Arlington Tell Heights, you, we'll see. Yeah, I hope they yeah, really do. You know what? That would be so yeah, nice. It would be so awesome. convenient. It would be so much uh, on eBay, better access. Like two, three, sure. you know? too. The only thing is, Okay. Don't get me wrong, because I don't like to see decent restaurants here and there. Mm -hmm. But the selection when you go to the city, when you're there, it's a lot to, to have to have a nice <laughs> dinner. There's a lot of places yeah. that you can go, although expensive, but it's still expensive. good, you know. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's something different. It's pretty cool. And what else you got there? DJI uh, Mini. Okay. Well, enough light. So, yeah, I mean, oh, 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 he's this got three the, other ones. Yeah, don't I've got the three, three, so it, this is just gathering dust. Okay. Okay. Did uh, Ryan already make you an omelet? No. You can definitely check okay. it out. Whatever you think. Um, you can only fly one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Unless you get really good. Did you open no. anything on this? Search? Everything's here. Yeah. Everything is in working order. Yes. Okay. I just charged the batteries up for you. Okay. Perfect. Now, yeah, I know sometimes with the DJI, I know with the Maverick, you have, if you plug yeah. in, yeah, like maybe the serial buy, number you into your account, you yeah. can do it only. Yeah, I don't know how this works, uh, it's the first time I tried to, try to do this. Oh, okay. So, so I already did all that. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we I could definitely buy it. So now you have to redo uh, it or re something. Re remove it, yeah, you have to remove your account. Uh, yeah, okay. I can just so it that stone next that person can, can actually put it up and install it. Or something. Or something. <laughs> well, not necessarily that. I think when they load the app, if this is already registered to one user, it will not allow to register to oh, another so user. Delete it from my app. So you have to delete okay. it from your app. Um, you know how to do that or no? I mean, I've got the, I got the phone with me. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. So on average, look, these combos are going for like sure. 400 okay. bucks. 399, right. 394, here's one for 345. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm thinking I watch about, all the time. I know so you're, I'm thinking I know about you're 200 on this, and then this, like 25 bucks, you know? 25 bucks for this? Yeah. This is a, I might want to look that one up. It's, it goes really? for more than that, yeah. Good. Did you look that up? Yeah, I was thinking 50 on that. I was actually okay. thinking a little different on this. Okay, so I, I, I swapped it a little bit. Because I was thinking we might get like 350 on this, so that's what I'm about thinking. half. Okay. So that's like one seventy. Because I offer, I offered actually two on this. Yeah. Because he has the battery uh, combo three. The way batteries. I was thinking, I had one seventy five here and fifty here, but. Okay. So I told him three twenty five, like you told me. But so what do you? What would you need to get out of this? Uh, what? It, whatever is fair. I, I think I don't think. What did you say? Twenty five or something? Well, because he was thinking actually fifty for this and one seventy five on this. Okay. I was thinking two and twenty five. So it comes out it to the, come same, out the number, same thing. <laughs> but um, well, you get you give me a fair price. I always watch. I know you're fair. So 
I'll bump it up. I bump it up a little bit. Yeah, you know, another ten bucks, like three thirty-five. Mm -hmm. I mean, two thirty-five for everything. I'm sorry, two thirty-five for everything. Okay. Will that work? That'll work. Okay. Awesome. Um, so I'm super excited, guys, because I have this crate of records here that Ryan just bought, and I did not see it yet. What's in here? And I'm always like, yes, more LP records. And a lot of you sometimes ask in comments, Pete, can you show off some new stuff that comes in? So you and me, we're going to go through this together without knowing what we have here. So first one, Bad Company, cool record, cool band. And it seems like everything is in very good condition here. That's another uh, Bad Company, I think. Let me uh, double check. Burning Sky, yes, that's bad company as well. Oh, look at this. Megadeth. You don't see these records very often, so this is this is really good. This is probably $20, $25 record. Let me see the condition of this out of curiosity. So it does have a scratch here, so that takes it away quite a bit. Other than that, it looks good, but yeah, this one, it's a deep scratch over the second song. Not that good, but very collectible though. So immediately from $25, this dropped to like seven, eight dollar record because of that scratch. Classic over here, the Beatles. More Beatles. These are older ones, so I'm not assuming they're in good condition. Very bad condition actually. And here's many. You can go, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I told Ryan to go on break first because I had to pick it up and it's hot. Yeah, it's, okay. It's fall. I'll just let it sit for like 30 minutes. Oh, Blue Oyster Cup. Now this is a this is a very good band. There's a lot of following when it comes to this band. And looks like he's got few albums here. Here's another one. Another Blue Oyster. Another one. Wow. So this person must have really liked this band. More. Almost like a full collection of uh, of this band. I think he actually might have everything they put out. They did. They were very, very popular for a long time. So there's a lot of albums from them. Then we have Boston. Bruce Springsteen, the boss. Another Bruce Springsteen here. Never had this record actually. Looks like a postcard. That's pretty cool. Green River. Uh, to be honest with you, not very familiar with this band. Might have to check that out. Classic, number 13, The Doors. Love that. Best of Doobie Brothers. Bob Dylan. Look at that. That's one of the first ones he put out. What year is this? This might be this might be really early 70s. I don't see the date on that one. Eagles. Good album. Golden Fairing. Have no idea who that is. Live. Golden Earring Live. Hmm. Interesting. Gotta put this on, see who that is. American Woman, the Guess Who. That's an oldie too. That's uh, early 70s. Yeah, 1970. That was the year I was born. Heart, 80s band. Stuff like this doesn't bring too much money. Probably five, six dollar record. Look at that, classic. That Zeppelin. That's, you know, if this is in good condition, this is 30 to 35 bucks easy and this is pristine this is really nice so this might be actually even a little bit more money because of the condition this might be like a 40 45 dollar record which is really nice or led zeppelin this one shows quite a bit of wear but let's see what the record actually is couple scratches little ones a couple here too so uh, this one is not as good this is probably it's still you know Led Zeppelin is 
such a good band and sought after the LPs that it will still in this condition bring 20 25 dollars so that's really nice look at this Judas Priest and look at the artwork on these they used to have crazy artwork this is probably mid 80s yeah 1984 it's awesome another one see look at these covers man how futuristic they are Ooh, another one look at that look at that razor blade British steel that's very cool what year is this probably 85 86 Crocus look at that Ooh, I'm excited look at this look at this look at that graphic Iron Maiden so it's been at least at least half a year since I had an Iron Maiden record here my gosh this is 1982 I'm praying that the condition is good on this oh yes a little bit dirty some fingerprints but there is no scratches this this can be nicely cleaned love it tiny bit here but that one effect play this is nice this is so this is easy depending on a condition 45 to 80 dollars that's how sought after iron maiden stuff is and and anything that you you know you find you find t-shirts my gosh original ones will bring some good money so this is a really good record i'm excited leonard skinner always good steve miller band always like steve miller another steve miller band greatest hits 1974 to 78 Whoa, that's an oldie. That's one of the first Rolling Stones records. That's done in mono, December's Children. This is probably, I wanna say 65, 66 maybe? I don't see the date though. Yeah, it's, it's one of their first, like third or maybe fourth album. Really good. Steppenwolf, what? Step, Steppenwolf, live? Not familiar with that. Don't know what that is. Ryan, so far, man, this is a great buy. Absolutely fantastic. Sticks. Great band again. Sticks. More, more sticks. This is Three Dog Night. Not familiar. See, there's a lot of bands here from like mid 70s. Uh, and I know a lot of bands from 70s, but more stuff from 80s for me right because i was born in 1970s so i obviously do know the classics but some of the band i don't know molly hatchet so i think i have like 15 copies of this record laying in a back room nobody wants this nobody's buying this tor good never, never heard of it don't know this either that must be that's actually 86 not familiar with that so there's a couple, couple little uh, cookies in here that I gotta listen to. A classic, yes. Love this record. This was a fantastic record with what's his name uh, uh, as uh, Anderson as uh, vocal. Classic Ben Halen over here. Look at that ZZ Top. ZZ Top. Everybody loves ZZ Top. And then we got Star Wars. Huh? made by a London Phil Philharmonic Orchestra. That's a new one. And a soundtrack of Clean Eastwood. <laughs> what year was that? 1967. That's way before my time, you know? So, awesome. Good pick, uh, Ryan. This was fantastic buy. Love it. Thanks. Love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. So before we end today's video, I have a question for you guys now first I want to show this off because I think it's so so cool this is elevator buttons from up and down but this came out from a Chicago train station back in the day so this is original to Chicago train station and apparently apparently these two 
I mean, to me, they look like beer tappers, but I don't think you had beer. At, maybe you did have some kind of restaurant at the train station. Apparently, these also came out out of the Chicago train station. This is all made out of copper, and these are super heavy. I never seen anything like this. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I'm thinking wrong, but this is what I was told. It's got these big, big threads, so it's kind of heavy duty. Uh, but maybe they're not beer tappers. Maybe it's something else. Somebody else mentioned to me that they had like soda machines that you could operate uh, with handles like this. Guys, I need your input. Drop a comment below. What do you think these are and what they were used for? It's, it's super cool and interesting. And like this one is like four or five pounds. This is about three pounds. They're super, super heavy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.